The Istaf Super Series is coming to you from Nakom Patom. We are just to the west of Bangkok in Thailand. It is finals day in the final round of the season. I'm alongside Alex Newman to describe to you the men's final. It is Thailand versus Malaysia. It could be an absolute cracker if Malaysia turn up because we know Thailand will turn up. Alex Newman, Australia International and training with the Ratchaburi Club. You're here for this final. You're Initial thoughts, Alex. Initial thoughts are that Thailand are going to be the red-hot favourites. Uh, let's first take a look at the matches that we've already seen here today. Earlier we had the bronze medal match for the men's rugby. Philippines took that one convincingly, 2-0 over Japan. And just a moment ago we saw Thailand clinch the gold medal in the women's rugby division. Okay, so that was then and this is now. It is a super atmosphere inside of here. The Thai ultras have turned up and they were very, very noisy during the women's final. I'm sure they'll be noisy again during the men's final. Malaysia will be in the black and yellow. Thailand will be in the all red. So what do Thailand have to do? Uh, sorry, what do Malaysia have to do to upset Thailand? Thailand, of course, are massive favourites. That's exactly right, Thailand, massive favourites. They have been utterly, utterly unstoppable so far this week in the Kompathom on home soil. They have not dropped a single set and they have just about steamrolled everyone they've come up against. Malaysia, on the other hand, they've struggled in all of their matches. They haven't lost one yet, but they did drop a set to the Philippines in the semi-final. And, well, to be quite frank, that was because the Philippines, they really came out swinging. Malaysia were a little slow off the mark, and that's been the story of the week for them, hasn't it? It's been a slow start and building in confidence for Malaysia. But against the ties, they're going to need to come out swinging, and they're going to need to continue swinging until this one is through. The Thai whole regu is from the Nakong Paton team who play their home matches here and there is a vociferous crowd here to support them. And I, I know that the chap in screen there, Rantirod, is the feeder who hasn't played international to Pak Takro for a while, but he is one of the mainstays of Nakong Paton who are currently leading the, the Thai league. And uh, of course, the big, the big um, uh, weapon that they have is sit upon Kamchan serving. Is sit upon the key to their whole success? I think there are five keys to the Thai success, and there's five players out there, so they're all equally important. I'd say that sit upon has been incredible 81% serving consistency over the course of the competition with great effect as well. We just saw Anuat Chaichana on screen, he'll be the starting spiker. He's been taking a bit of a back seat actually to his. Uh, his counterpart in Tawisak Tongsa, who will be starting on the bench in the number five jersey. Tawisak's been perfect, 55 from 55 spikes this week so far. Let's have a look at the route Thailand took to the final, and it's 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, right the way through. Only Myanmar really pushed them. Philippines gave them a go in the second set especially, but they have been dominant. Um, and uh, the, it, there are very, very few weaknesses. We're looking at Taos at Tongsai here, who is the second Tekong. He has been the starting Tekong right the way through. But uh, Anua Chai Chana, who has started today, that certainly does not weaken them at all. Not at all. The, the, the second spiker, we should say, is Tawisak Tongsai. The uh, Bakok Tekong will be Natapong Kraiwan, who, although he's actually served more balls than Sitapong, he's got a high percentage and more aces as well. So there are some. Real, real talent from the circle for Thailand to come. Here's their starting lineup. Yeah, Coach Supart has got, um, well, riches to choose from. Sitipong, Rang Sirod, Anuat will be the starting three. The Tekong is the server. Rang Sirod is the scamperer who will be setting up for Anuat Chai Chana, who prefers to roll spike but can actually use the sunback spike as well. There is the, the coach, Supat. And on the bench, should they require them, Natapong, he's uh, serving at just over 80, what is he serving at? 85% success rates if he does come on. That means that four and a half in five, no, four and a quarter in five are going over the net. It's a remarkable strike rate. And the serving is so important in Sepak Takro. As for Malaysia, let's focus on the serving. Shahir Rosdi, still a teenager, still bags of promise. Big tall man, you can see him in the Tekong circle at the near end of the screen there. There he is. He's been serving around about 67% throughout this tournament. It's not good enough at this top level, is it? It won't cut it against the ties, that's for sure. I do not envy the man though. Shahir Rosdi, as you say, 
Still very young, 18 years of age, and he carries the weight of the Malaysian Sabak Takraw fans on his shoulders. I know there are countless Malaysian fans tuning in eagerly for this match. And Shahir Rosdi, as you say, 69% service percentage over the course of the week, but with devastating effect when that serve goes in. So if he can serve well, and if he can get that consistency up and over around 80%, Malaysia will be in with a really good shot here. Here is their road to the final. Beat Japan to love, beat Singapore to love. Struggled a little bit against Korea where they were taken to 25, 20, uh, 24, 22 in the first set before taking the second set. Lost the first set against the Philippines, but did really well because the Philippines were so pumped for that semi-final. And Malaysia, they took it on the chin, then they turned it round. On the bench, should they require it, they've got the likes of um, Ahmad Azat Azmi and Mohamed Zamri with the starting three. Now, this is the three who beat Thailand in Malacca. Shahir Rosdi, Farhan Adam and Kairul Zaman. Was that home advantage so important that they can't repeat it on the road? Well, it does count for an awful lot, does the home advantage. That match where Malaysia won was in Malacca in Malaysia. Today, it's all, all home advantage for the Thais, as you say, in the Commonwealth Home side. This is their home turf. They play here regularly in the Thai League, so Malaysia the cards are stacked against them. And we certainly know they'll be in for a big fight with Thailand. I just really hope that Malaysia can come out swinging early on in the first. Farhan is the, the feeder and his job will be to collect any spikes, anything loose that's coming from the Thai side. It really is a, a monumental task. He plays for Penang in the uh, Sepaktakro League, which will resume next week. Uh, you can catch an Astro on the Grow and Astro Supersport and Astro Arena. The Sepakta Crow League, but now our focus is very much on the international stage. It's the final, final of the four tournament season, and it is Malaysia versus Thailand. It's appropriate that these two are in the final final because they've been the dominant teams throughout the season. Thailand have won tournaments, two tournaments, Malaysia have won one. So, the official team lineups from the MC. Number 23, Shahir Rosti. Number 8, Kairo Sama. Number 1, Amanaiza Nazmi as reserve. Number 10, Mohan Zamli as reserve. Team manager, Mr. Ramran Rahman. And coach, Mr. Abutan Ahmad. Presenting at Thailand. As captain in jersey number 3, Ramsirot Sidi Samusan. Number 1, Sidi Murray Kamchan. The match referee will be Radhi Jame from Singapore for this particular match. There are four court officials. So, uh, Alex Newman, Australian international. You know the Thai scene very well. Prediction time for you, Alex. Is this one where Thailand are going to run away with it, or do you believe in this Malaysian record? Well, we know that this Malaysian record, they can fight Thailand, they can defeat Thailand. I do, however, think that Thailand have a distinct edge this week here in the Commonwealth. For me, the Thais have been unflappable, so it will truly be up to the Malays as to whether they can take the fight to Thailand and really push them. So your answer is? Thailand. Excellent, thank you. We got it out of him eventually, but Thailand has called it, so it's up to the men in black to actually try to produce a monumental upset. Those of you who've been following his staff Super Series will know that Thailand, well, they are the team to beat. But Malaysia, they've set up a professional league to try and counteract the Thais. The Thais have already got a professional league midway through the season there. As for Malaysia, well, their league season is only just uh, up and running, two weeks in. And I suppose it's it's appropriate that the two nations with professional setups are the two best nations in Sepak Takraw. The players will be introduced to the great and the good of the Sepak Takraw world uh, before the match. But as a player, this must drive you back. Certainly is the, the feather in the cap for so many people. Such an event like this, it's a big deal. And for the Thais and the Malay side, it's 
Oh, it's, it helps you recognise how important something like this is, but they have already done their warm-up, so any time spent away from the court, away from kicking your ball is detrimental to your performance, but these guys are professionals, they're used to this sort of thing. As they're going down the lineup for, for the ties, if you were a coach, what tactics or what methods would you adopt against the ties just to try to put them off their rhythm? Is, is, there, is there any gems of wisdom that you can produce for us, Mr. Newman? I don't have any gems of wisdom when it comes to battling against the ties, no. I think if I had a few of those, I'd be a, be I'd a, coach, a, ring, yeah. I'd be a ring in coach for one of these other national teams, that's for sure. I think, I think the key for Malaysia would be a really good, powerful start because that's where they've come unstuck so far this week but we know they have the power and the skills to take it to Thailand they just need to get out of the blocks early. Photo opportunity is being set up the crowd it's a I'm told it's a 4,000 seater that seems very tight 4,000 to be a very very tight squeeze there's probably 1,500 or so in the arena at the moment and they made a, a real racket during the women's final so much so that the match referee wanted the to stop the play several times, but the crowd, they were not listening. They were going to make a noise, come hell or high water. And they carried on making the noise, and in the end, Thai's women went on to record their fourth win out of four in the Istaf Super Series 2014-2015. Players up and ready, just want to get on with the game. There is the full house, the clappers have been used with abandon. There's always colour. I wonder if our guy can pick up the, the warrior at the top end of one of the stands. I wonder if our cameras can pick him out, it's a remarkable sight. He's quite a normal chap as well. <laughs> I had a word with him before and he said, hello, how are you? <laughs> the calm before the storm. What do you say in these moments? Each team has their own little important tidbits of information to share. For, for most of these teams, an event like this, the nerves are going absolutely crazy. So it's a good chance to calm yourselves, particularly after that. For the uh, photo opportunities and the warm up. It's the last chance for the coaching staff to give any last minute pills of wisdom. The coaching team Abdul Talib Ahmed and Sabri Abdul Rahman. Raman on the right. The colour of Thai support. It is blue, red and white up against the black and yellow of Malaysia. Mohamed Radi Cheme from Singapore is the match referee. He saves the big ones for himself, doesn't he? He's an experienced official. They're the ultras getting into the mood. We are about to get underway. Istaf Super Series final in Nakhon Patom. Farhan, Shahir and Kyrill, your nation needs you, my friends. As for Rank Sirod, Sitipong and Anawat, your nation expects. It'll be Malaysia to serve first. Let's see what kind of form Shahir Rosli is in today. If he's at his best, he can be potent. Love all, best of three sets. Fine start. It's a confidence booster for Shahir. Quick little pump of the fist from Shahir Rosdi. 62 kilometers per hour on that one. Such an acute angle as it passes over the net. Great serving. not far long. It is long though. Again, 62 kilometers an hour. He is capable of 70, but it looks like he's just taking a bit off it. Right, Sirod to Anawat. Fine roll spike.
first spike winner. Service now goes over to sit upon Kamchamp. Just slightly taller than Shah here, six foot four. Carol's a man. Oh, it's a touch for Anuat. The set was what, just six inches away from being perfect. It was six inches too far. This one right on the net, and Anuat obliges by just gently poking it back over, denying Carol's a man. That's a handball off of Anuwa Chaishana. He doesn't like that call, he disagrees. He is not happy at all, but what a great passage of play. That was the touch. This may tell the story here. You can understand the call. Even if none of those replays are conclusive, referee, of course, doesn't have those replays. Important point for Malaysia. Three, two. Big save, Shahir. Carol's a man. Stunning stuff. Well, we called it before this match began. Malaysia need to come out swinging, and that is exactly what they have done. Shahir Rosdi, incredible save. Fahad Adam, pinpoint perfect with the feed, and Kairo Zaman, explosive finish. Malaysian colours on the bandana for Kairo Zaman. Three, on. Very high from both Regus. Three, four. Set from Farhan. There is a man, the Sumbach. He can do both. Slowing the ball down, changing its trajectory. Great reaction times to keep that ball alive. Thailand leading 5 4 on their serve. First service error. Everything at the moment. Carol's a man. 
Nice little angle. Great placement. He's going behind the block of Anuwa with this sunback spike. That's the great strength of the sunback spike. Is this. It's so difficult for the defense to pick where exactly Karul Zaman is angling this ball until it's all too late. Five, six. So we've got ourselves a nice little contest here. Fine serve, angle down onto Shahir Rosni. Generally, Shahir has been reading the serves of Sitipong. This one is just exceptional placement. Finishing the ball nice and short in the court, he catches Shahir Rosni backing away. Shahir Rosdi. It is so, so difficult to back up a service fault with a massive service winner like that. Seventy kilometers an hour. You get booked for speeding. with a shorter angle delivery. High class serving from Shahir. Indeed, two service faults, but three service winners, two of which came in that set of three. Sidipong is going to need to start switching up the angle at which he's delivering this serve. Shahir's got a definite read. Carol Zaman picks that up beautifully. Oh, wonderful from Malaysia. Where has this form been all week? Well, they've hardly been pushed all week at Malaysia. It's like they've been taking it easy in preparation for this big final match. but he's getting incredibly close, closer with every point. It's like two heavyweights slugging it out punch for punch just at the moment. but it might as well because that serve is exactly what set up this point. Rangsilot 
did well just to keep the ball alive, but that's set way, way deep in the court, all the way back by the service circle. Under what? Cannot convert. So Malaysia, three point lead. Two more serves to come from Shahi Rosdi. Arrows it at City Pong. Four service winners. Timeout has been called by Thailand as a result. Is this just to slow the momentum of Malaysia, Alex? Indeed, they've taken the timeout in the middle of Shahir Rosdi's set of three serves, no doubt to unsettle the big man. But Malaysia, a four-point lead, so Thailand have decided to try and regain some of their composure. We've seen the pregame that Thailand have been unflappable, but they've well and truly been flapped here by Malaysia in the early stages of this match. Excellent rallies already. Haven't been too many errors. You look at the work of the net of Anawat Chai Chana. He's got one roll spike to his name. Carol's a man on the other side of the net has got four spikes to his credit. It's not often that Anawat Chai Chana will be out spiked at the net. And Citadek hasn't been able to find a way past the defense of Shahir Rosdi. offense into some offense of their own. Farhan, great save. Kajal Zaman. Oh, this will tell the story. Looks like he's gone over. Ooh, don't know about that. The rule is you cannot play the ball if it has already passed over the net. So if he had played it on his side and then continued over the net himself, that would have been legal. We don't have a camera along the net, so we can't be sure. Looked, looked pretty adjacent, but it's a point to Thailand. It's their serve, City Pong. Carol's a man, and Shahir, after you, Claude. Shahir and Cairo at sixes and sevens with each other. That serve was only 47 kilometers per hour. Great reaction, Carol Zaman, point Malaysia, 13-10. The receiving of Malaysia, exceptional thus, thus far. Truly incredible work by Farhan. Sahir Rosti himself has been very, very good in defense in receiving Sidipong serves. Look at the landing. 
Look at the energy. Look at how much that meant to him. Followed by a service fault. So we're all square. Malaysia did have a three point lead. But two brilliant plays by Thailand and a service fault later. The blue, red, and white is flying. you believe perhaps is the question now by the Malaysians. Thailand have that big, booming power style of play where they always go for high sets and big spikes, but Malaysia showing they have that finesse to use the quick low set and the nice sharp spike. Oh, just threading that ball oh. under the block. Oh. Oh. Man, the seven spike winners. Once again, fantastic work in defense by Fahan Adam. Look how quickly he was there, reaching out for that ball. He is all over Sinopong at the moment. Only the one ball, only the one serve, I should say, has gone through Fahan Adam. 14, 15. Arrows a man save. Quick thinking in the net, Anuwan, <laughs> Kairo Zaman. He had one go. Fortunately for him, Fahad couldn't quite control this second one. Anuwas, he needs no further invitation. set. Excellent standard in this Istaf Super Series oh. final. In that on the top. City Pong. And what's angle is perfect. Thailand sneak into the lead. Spike winner. as a service ace for Shahir Rosti. And we said this would be a key performance indicator for Malaysia in this match. Shahir's effectiveness from the circle. He's got one ace, four winners, only the fourth fault, so that makes his service percentage 76. 60. Oh. But now we are at the serious end of the set. Much for Anawat. Excellent control. He's showing a variety we've not seen before. Awfully mature serving for an 18 year old coming up against arguably the world's best team. Showing us power and then backing off, applying some side spin. And to catch even the great Anawat Chaitana by surprise is an incredible feat. Oh. 
Farhan scrambles, carols a man! A Malaysia like that one! Malaysia, two points clear now. Farhan Adan, this was an exceptional run across the court. He goes barreling into one of our camera people. Great focus. Hey, well Thank done, you. cameraman. Well done, fella. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by a 66 kilometer an hour serve. Wow. If you've not swatched a pack tackle before, this is as good as it gets. First to 21. Best of three sets. 17, 18. Shahid as well. Farhan. Carlos They're edging their way. Again, composure in defense. Sinipong's serve had 68 kilometers per hour on it. Shahir again up to the task. But now he comes on to Shahir. Keep wondering about his composure. You do him a disservice. He had a birthday recently, he's 19. That much more maturity. 19. But it's a big, 19. big, big test now for Shahir Rosdi. Can he serve out? Thanks, Sirod. And what? Anawat, he's been given some pretty messy feeds to work with already in this set, but he's doing fantastic work. Well, Shahir posted an excellent serve there and lost the point. If this total this action, it's against the law. Go ahead, please. Play ready? Stop. 19, 18. Shahir, perfect pick. Anawat. The point is Thailand's. Blocked wide. And a timeout has been called by Malaysia. Like it's come back off a tie shirt or a tie foot, and that is a tough, tough break for Malaysia. That should be a Malaysia point. Indeed, great camera work to catch that one, but of course, no such luck for the referee. He, he cannot use the replay, he cannot change his form in that sort of situation. So, in real time, it certainly looked as though it came off the foot of Kairos Man, so it's understandable, but unfortunate for Malaysia. Still, 19 all. Well, that's them um, thinking they've won it. We're seeing some wonderful action here. It is 19 all. And there have been two really tight calls gone against Malaysia, which if they were to lose this set, they might have cause for not complaints, because you can't complain, but certainly for regret. 19 all. Final serve of the set of three to come in. Tense, tense stuff. How's the nerve, Shahir? How's the ball toss, Carol Zaman? 19. Oh. oh, no, what a time. The ball toss seemed a little bit laboured. The long delay counts against Shahir Rosdi. And Thailand have got themselves a set point. Timeout. 
cause the delay, so they'll be ruining that. The serve now will change over to the ties, and it will be Sidipon Kamchan attempting to serve out the first set. Do Malaysia believe their receiving has been excellent thus far? Now, more than ever, they need to get this ball back in play. Set point. Carol Zaman saves it. We are a juice. Nerves of steel. I cannot believe that Malaysia kept that ball in play. That serve was an absolute rocket. Well, the 45 kilometers per hour, that'll be the spike speed, not the serve speed, I can tell you. That serve was up in the 70s. So Sitapong on serve. He's still got to win by two. It's the second set point, 64 kilometers an hour. So it must win by two points. However, we're now in a juice situation, so the serve will change every point. That means Thailand have a set point. The Shahir Rosdi is on serve. So much pressure on the shoulders of the 19-year-old. He's aged. He's aged <laughs> since we've started this match. Or I've corrected myself, one of the two. Big moment. There have been a lot of big moments in this first set. Jana is successful. The point goes to Thailand. Devastation for Malaysia. Jubilation for the home nation. Good serving under pressure from Rosdi. Karul Zaman, once again, he's so close to connecting cleanly with this block, but it's just dribbled down his leg and gone under the net. Oh, so close to keeping that set alive, but a fantastic spike by Anwar Chaichana. And what an opening set for what is the gold medal match of the finals of the ISTAF Super Series. Scintillating stuff. 28 minutes of call time. It ebbed, it flowed, it flowed, it ebbed. In the end, Thailand just had enough. Two controversial calls, though, in the midst of that set, both against Malaysia. And in such a set of fine margins, that could have been instrumental in Thailand taking the lead. But there was plenty to admire. Thailand in the red, facing well, a really determined Malaysian regu. Anawa Chai Chana under pressure every time he's gone for a spike at the net from Karol Zaman. Indeed, Malaysia, this is the best we've seen from them in months, really. This is the best we've seen, certainly, all week. And for the first time, you feel that the pressure was on Anua rather than Karol Zaman. Malaysia with the driving seat for much of this set. It was some exceptional serving from Shahir Rosdi. Anua Chai Chana has produced four spike winners on the other side of the net. Karol Zaman, he's amassed 10. It really is rare for Anua to be out spiked. In terms of serve percentage, Thailand 95% serve success rate. There is one of Carol Zaman's efforts, a spike winner. And again, again in, in a match of fine margins, 95% serve success compared to 77%. Small margins, but that's the difference perhaps. You do, however, feel that despite Shahir's Increased service fault percentage. He is applying much, much more pressure on the ties than Sidapong is applying on the Malays. Nonetheless, this is how Anuwat Chaitana earned the final point in the first set of the final. Rolls down the body of Carol Zaman. Thailand have the first set. They've taken it by 22 points to 20. And Drew Lilly and Daniel Ellen Barwell will take over in the commentary box. Mikey Dez and Alex. Well, game on here, well and truly. Thailand are going to the screens now, and they open the second set with a service winner. These two teams, of course, the only ones to win an Istar Super Series in the 
2014-2015 season. relatively easy balls like this one get past them. They need to come out firing or else Thailand with the momentum, with a set under their belt, they will scream towards 21 points. <laughs> this time it's Anua Chai Chana to make it a Karifa on their own service for Thailand to open the second set. Almost got away with a little bit of a cheeky accidental winner. Did Farhan Adam, but I know what, right there at the first say and then the last. Deep. It's over the block. It's past Shah here, but it tags inside the line. the timing of that timeout at the end of the first set. I really think that threw Shahe Rosni off his rhythm. He made four faults up until then in the first set. He got into a good rhythm. They called that timeout in 1918 and then he served a fault. I was found that a very strange time to call the timeout. Let's see if he can get back into a rhythm now. Also, same should be said for Thai Fida Rangsarat. Two of those three serves from Shah here rocketed towards him, but he was there. He easily popped them off his knees and he's put them right where Anawad needs. So Malaysia a little bit stuck now, four points down already. Second fault thus far, serving at a 92% clip. Shahi Rosti has dragged it back up to 80%. He was only around 75% in the first set. For Malaysia to get anything out of this, he needs to be 80% and above. Well, a double fault from the ties. They do, of course, have options on the bench. Natapong Kraiwan. Still got his tracksuit top on. Someone who has been waiting with his tracksuit top off. Next cab off the rank, that is Tawisa Tongsai. He's desperate to get involved in this match. Thinking maybe at the end of that first set that Tawisa could have come on. Possibly, but no need in the end. Would have been an interesting switch up from Thailand, but I think they're trying to see how far these three can go for now. Go to faults followed by a tape service winner. A little bit of a stumble from Sidapong, but he comes good in the end. Two faults really cutting away at the lead that they had, but still three points clear our Thailand and the pressure constantly on Shah here, Rosdi, to make up the lost ground. That was Natapong waiting in the background, but still with his strike suit top on. Doesn't look like there'll be any Malaysians. Mind you, the two Malaysian substitutes, they are ready and waiting. Ahmad Azat and Mohamed Zamri. Well, Ahmad Azat isn't going to get any game time if Shahir Rosdi can continue firing them down like that. This has been a very effective serve for Shahir. That's the ball quite short in the court to Anawat. Anawat's got beaten on two or three times cleanly and getting a touch to it, but it's so fast. Not even Rangsarok can chase it down. The point 
point has gone the way of Malaysia. It didn't go over the net, it went around the post. Sidapong had the right idea. It's hard to tell from that angle. This one should give us a better indication. Even that, a little bit tricky to tell. The ball must pass between the two vertical lines of tape on the net. If it doesn't, it's considered out of bounds and out of play. That one just goes long. So close to being a three for, for Malaysia, but Thailand restore their two-point lead. That's a sixth service fault, as you can see from Shahir Rosdi. in the last set of three from City Pong. Well, for the first time this set, I can say, Kyrill's a man. It is true, he's been a little bit absent from the start of this second set. This was a good showing by all three players from Malaysia. Shahir picked up the serve. Farhan, a nice low set to the far post. And Kyrill here, this is a good play. Hasn't hit it hard, it's his first scenario. First appearance on the ball in this set. Make that two in a row for Kyril Zaman. Malaysia get themselves level at seven all. Outstretched block from Anuat Chai Chana, too much power on it, and that ended up going way beyond the baseline. and that is a three for, for Malaysia. Consider Thailand was leading 5-1, so Malaysia have done, done well to catch back up, although a lot of responsibility does lie with Sidipon Kamchan. He's made significant errors, three or four service faults at the start of this second set. Three, I should say. Off your screens, but just below me in the commentary position, Natapong Kraiwan is warming up. Anua Chai levels it at eight all. Really, we're seeing here that when the ball is under control from the serve, either team is capable of just destroying it. Anua here, a big spike just behind Kyrill, deflects off his back at the net. At the moment, the difference seems to be the Tekongs. We've had four faults from Thailand, six from Malaysia. There was just two points in it in the first set. The battle at the net has been very even. Perhaps if one team can start blocking the other, then we might see a change of momentum. No block there from Kyrill Zaman. Another spike from Anua Chai Chana. We saw some good blocking at the start of the first set from Kyrill Zaman, and he's close every time he is close. But credit to Anua, he's varying the pace, he's changing the angle. That one. A little bit less, a little bit less pace. Late to the angle, put it below the block. Trying to find a way through of both teams. And there we go, a three for for Thailand. Great reception of service there from City Pong. Timeout has been called by Malaysia. They won three in a row. They won seven out of nine points to get themselves eight, seven up. And then all of a sudden, three in a row from Thailand. Great service reception from City Bong. Wonderful setting from Rang Sirod. And then at the net, Anuat Chai Chana dominating. Looks like the timeout has come from Thailand, which is interesting because just the change of serve. Not interrupting the serve of Shahir Rosdi, although it is making him wait a little bit longer. Perhaps it's because the lead has been dicing. Thailand have lost a few points, but find themselves two points clear. And I would, would expect coaches here to be trying to help the trio in red to maintain this lead. There's nothing particularly wrong except for the service of Sidibon Kamchan, just struggling a little bit with consistency. 
Facebook.com forward slash Istaf Super Series is where you can find us on social media. In English, Thai and Bahasa Malayu. Do you think we should be bringing on substitutes for the Thais? That's the question. We can see both of them in the background. Tawisa Tongsai, number five. Natapong Kraiwan, the Tekong at the moment. They're going to stick with the incumbents. Sitipong with a set of three to come. And a taped service justifies staying with him. Points have been going against service. Six in a row had gone against service. Little break there. Perfect time at 73 kilometers per hour as well. the man stops the rot after four points in a row for Thailand Carl's a man brilliant reception of service as well as this finishing spike although I know what right there the block just not deflecting quite enough but I have been very impressed watching Cairo standing a little bit deeper receiving with Sidapong getting his foot to a lot of balls Farhan Adam keeps this alive Cairo's a man what were you trying to do there Ambitious, ambitious is the word, and I think he knows that as he gets up. Probably would have just played that one in and forced Thailand to play it out if it was me, but Farhan Adam, incredible effort. So fast, and just to get a touch, not afraid of the boards. See there, far too much work to be done by Cairo. A smile on his face. 12, 9 down, three services to come from. The big fella, 1m89, Shahir Rosdi from Penang. Anuad Chai Chana at the beginning and the end of that point. Feels to me like Malaysia just slightly, slightly dropped off. Right at the start of the first set, we saw them firing everything they could, chasing things down. and. Feels like Thailand have just found a way to shut them out of the game a little bit here. Trailing by four. Really going to need Shah here to come up with a few winners to bring in that scoreline. Two more services for him to come in this set of three. He has two aces and five winners thus far. And now that takes him up to seven points. To the delight of the crowd here in Nakopaton. Hotting up here, the ultras in the corner have started stripping off. There's plenty of them with their bare chests now jumping up and down. They can sense another Thai victory. Nine. And that's a double fault. Agony for Shahir Rosti. That's just about as close to hitting the tape as you can get without it going over. The deflection in the net just not going Shahir's way this time round. It absolutely cannons back. That's him down to 76%. He needs to be faultless for here, from here on in. And these guys need to receive the ball from City Pong. And that's something they can't do. 74 kilometers per hour. a rocket of a serve, 76. And Farhan, he's been very good in, dis in, in defense, in reception of serve. You see there, he gets a touch, but it's just not clean enough. And with this, Malaysia have called a timeout, but there are not many points left in this set, in this match, should Malaysia not get this set. I do feel like they showed up in the first set, they came out, guns blazing. Shahir served incredibly, not making his first service fault till about halfway through the first set, but this set servings dropped off, intensities dropped off. Farhan not picking up a serve like that as fast as it was. It's just not really quite going to cut it against the Thai team that seems to be finding their groove. 16 9 is the lead. A whole host of points there, one in a row for Thailand. Got on a real roll. 
couple of service faults from from City Pong. That was the only sniff they got of it. Is this the last throw of the dice for Malaysia? Off goes Shahi Rosdi. On comes Ahmad Azat. Can he change things around from the Tekong circle? Another fault there from Sitipong. His fifth fault thus far, 85%. Excellent rate. Three aces, seven winners. Takes a lot off that one. Kyrol's a man a long way. And he goes a long way. Malaysia need to go a long way though. 16-9 down they were at the timeout. A couple of points there for them. Now, Ahmad Azat, what have you got in your bag of tricks? Hopefully for Malaysia, it's 10 points in a row. Well, that is the gamble when you bring on a Tekong at the business end of the second set of a final. And he doesn't have the best track record throughout this tournament so far, serving only at 63% consistency in the previous matches. They had to try something, did Malaysia? So he makes a fault on one every three. There's his fault. Anuwa Chaichana! This match is getting away from Malaysia. This match is almost in Thailand's pocket. They can, they've got one hand on the trophy. Both Thai substitutes warming up. Will they get a look in? They seem to be all smiles. I think they were being kept for an eventual third set. What a block there from Kyrol Zaman. Not backing down yet, Malaysia. And this is good to see that the serve was simply picked up. Not a fast ball from the right foot of Isa Azmi but it did do enough. It got, Mal got Malaysia into the match by forcing Thailand to make a mistake. And it's forced Thailand to make a substitution. Off goes Sitipong Kanchan. And on comes Natapong Kraiwan. Of course, another player from the Natapong Patong Club. How about him finishing it off with three services in a row? But he's not going to do it that way. Not just yet. Natapon has a deceptive serve. You, sometimes it can be hard to pick whether he's serving left or right. Eighteen, thirteen, two more to come. Satu, Dua, and the Tiger is long from Malaysia. Thailand inch ever closer. Two points from victory. Unfortunate for Cairo because he's beaten the blocker, but he's just put it a little too long. That was a chance for them. They needed to play fault the setback tack raw. If they were going to stay in this match, two points from defeat. <laughs> Same service kept alive. Cairo's a man, keeps them alive. Two for three on the service of the incoming Natapon Cry one. Fahan Adam showing what he was made of in the first set, getting back into it. A little bit less intimidated by the serve of Natapon. Good feed and Cairo makes amends with a wonderful finish. Big deep breath now for Ahmad Azad. The 24-year-old sees his team 19-14 down, two points from losing this final. And it goes into the net. The change at Tekong has not had the desired effect for Malaysia and Thailand have six championship points. Let us hope that it doesn't end on another service fault. Great save, deep set. Chai Chana with a spike and the block goes out. 
and Thailand are the Istaf Super Series Finals 2014-2015 champions. Big, wonderful last point. Anawat putting the exclamation mark on what was a close match. The first set completely going down to the wire. And this was a better showing, a better serve by Ahmad Aiza Azmi. Just can't make it count. Boys in red really got it together. They looked a little bit put off in the start, the first set, but this second set, it was really all theirs. 49 minutes this final lasted. The first set was a half hour epic that went to juice. The second one, slightly more one way traffic in favor of the hosts. Thailand win it 22 20, 21 14. They win three out of the four Istaf Super Series 2014 2015 tournaments. They are the ones who will be atop the rankings. They are the winners of the Istaf Super Series 2014 2015. Malaysia, a creditable second. Second in this tournament, second overall. They won in Malacca. So they have had a very good season. They got Thailand to shiver and shake a little bit. But when it came down to it today, when it got to juice in that first set, the ties from Nakon Paton, they held firm in front of their fervent home crowd. And then they cruised to victory in the second set. Second set really was a little bit more of one-way traffic. Thailand found their groove and Malaysia fell off theirs a little bit, just backed off the pace. Somehow the intensity had dropped. Losing such a close first set does tend to take a little bit to reset from and they weren't really given that opportunity with Sidipong only really allowing them into the match when he made the occasional, occasional fault from the service circle. Kairo Zaman, moments of brilliance, but less opportunities for him in this second set. The last throw of the dice when we saw Ahmad Aizad Azmi come on for Malaysia to help try and serve it out. Really didn't quite work out as they may have hoped. Anawat playing much better tackle in this second set. Really not letting many balls past him in this brilliant touch. On the last, last point of this championship, a brilliant finish by Thailand. Coming back into the booth with me is Dez. Dez, you saw that on the sidelines. What did you think? That first set was absolutely pivotal to Malaysia. If they had been able to pick that first set at 22-20, you suspect they might have had a little bit more belief, but they started poorly in the second. Well, not poorly. Thailand started well, but the energy, I think you were saying, in the at the start of the second set just disappeared. They got themselves back into it. They got themselves level, in fact, ahead at one stage, eight to seven, but just couldn't hold out. This Thai Regu are formidable, absolutely formidable. The ultras from Thailand, very, very vocal. It's an intimidating atmosphere to come and play for Malaysia. It's not completely intimidating, but for Malaysia, it has been their best performance on the road that I can recall. They're competing at the very top level now, and there is real promise, because it's still a young Regu with uh, Shahir Rosdi showing his reception and his uh, striking. He's, what, 75% in this final. Very, very good. But uh, Thailand are still, still the team to beat. So now we just await the final moments for the prize presentation. They're just getting things ready. Many of the crowd, of course, disappear, but the players enjoy this moment. They enjoy getting the opportunity just to pick up the fruits of their labor. And there will be two trophies awarded tonight. Well, four trophies, actually, for the men's and women's regu. The event trophy, of which Thailand have won both. And of course, the overall season trophy, which Thailand have won both. They still are the team to beat. They still are the regu to beat. They are still the nation that sets the standards. And next year, they'll